Lesson 15, Creating an Automated Table of Contents. In this lesson, we will build on what we learned about multi-chapter books and learn how to create an automated table of contents for our book file. Before we jump into InDesign, let's define what a table of contents is. A table of contents is where you list the chapters and major sections of a book, magazine, or other multi-page publication. One document may contain more than one table of contents. For example, one for the chapters and one for the list of photos or illustrations. The titles and the page numbers are pulled directly from your document and can be updated at any time, even across multiple documents in a book file. Let's talk about some best practices before generating a table of contents. Before you create a table of contents, verify that the book list is complete. Ensure that all documents are listed in the correct order and that all headings have been formatted with the appropriate paragraph styles. Be sure to use paragraph styles consistently throughout the book. Avoid creating documents with styles that have identical names but different style definitions. If the necessary styles do not appear in the table of contents dialog, box pop-up menus, you may need to synchronize the book so that the styles are copied to the table of contents document. Before we generate a table of contents for our book, let's discuss table of contents styles. Table of contents styles are predetermined style settings that can be applied to the formatting of a table of contents. Creating a TOC style is helpful if your book has multiple table of contents or if you want to use the same table of content formatting in another document. To create a table of content styles, choose Layout, Table of Content Styles. Click New. Name the table of content styles you are creating. From the Other Styles list, select the paragraph styles that represent the content you want to include in the table of contents. Then click Add to add them to the Include Paragraph Styles list. Specify options to determine how each paragraph style is formatted. If you created a table of content styles in the past, you also have the option to import the style from an existing document. To load an existing table of content style, do the following steps. Choose Layout. Table of Content Styles, click Load, then select the InDesign file containing the Table of Content Styles you want to copy, and then click Open, then click OK. It is important to note that the, if the paragraph styles in your new document do not match the paragraph styles in the Table of Content Styles you import, you need to edit the Table of Content Styles before generating the Table of Contents. Otherwise, the automation process will not work. Now that we understand what a table of contents styles is, we look at how to create table of contents itself. The process of creating a table of contents requires three steps. Step one, create and apply the paragraph styles you'll use as the basis for the TOC. Then step two, Specify which styles are used the table of contents and how the table of contents is formatted. Step three, create and flow the table of contents into your document. As demonstrated in lesson 14, using paragraph and character styles is crucial when working on a multi-chapter book. At the beginning of the design process, Define the paragraph and character styles that InDesign will use to pull the data for the table of contents. It's a great option to use character styles to format page numbers and the characters separating them from the entries. For example, if you want the page numbers to be in bold, create a character style that includes the bold attribute and then select that character style when you make the table of contents. I will demonstrate this concept in InDesign in the demonstration later. Before you generate your TOC, decide which paragraph styles will be included, such as chapter titles and section headings. 
Then ensure that these styles are applied to all appropriate paragraphs in the individual document in your book file. In this lesson, we will create a table of contents for a book file. However, the same concept is true if you are working on a single document. The difference is that you would add a new page for the TOC at the beginning of the document rather than creating a separate file for the TOC. The table of contents panel might look intimidating at first, so let's look at the options offered and understand what they do. Note that some formatting options are available only when you click More Options in the dialog box. Now that the table of contents panel is opened, let's look at the options from top to bottom. TOC style, choose a predetermined TOC style if appropriate, otherwise it is set to default. Title, this title appears at the top of the table of contents. You will also have the option to choose formatting for, from one of your paragraph styles. Include paragraph styles. This option determines which content you want to include in your TOC. You will pick from under Other Styles, select it and click Add. Entry Style. For each style, under the Include Paragraph Styles, choose a paragraph style for formatting. Page Number gives you the option to put the number before, after or don't include the numbers. You also have the option to choose a character style for looks. Between entry and number defines what to include between the table of contents entry and the page number. By default, it is set to tab, but you have many options to choose from, from the drop-down menu. Sort entries in alphabetical order. This option is useful for creating simple lists such as lists of advertisers. In a traditional table of contents, leave this option unchecked. Level. It decides the hierarchy between the options you choose under Include Paragraph Styles. This option adjusts only the display in the TOC panel. It does not affect the final table of contents unless the list is alphabetized, in which case the entries are sorted by level. Create PDF bookmarks. Select this option if you want the table of contents to appear in the bookmarks panel when open a opening a PDF in Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader. Run in. Select this option if you want all TOC entries to be run into one single paragraph. Replace existing table of contents. Select this option to replace all existing table of contents in the document. Deselect this option if you want to generate a new table of contents in the same document, such as list of figures. Include text on hidden layers. Select this option only if you want the paragraphs or hidden layers to be included. This is a useful feature when creating a list of advertisers or illustrations that may not appear as visible text in the document. Otherwise, leave it unselected. Include book documents. Select this option to create a single table of contents for all documents in the book file. Make text anchor in source paragraph. This option is related to accessibility on a digital book. If checked, it will ensure that your table of contents items are hyperlinks so readers can click on them to be taken directly to that section in the book. Remove forced line break. Select this option to remove the forced line breaks if your document has them as hidden characters. Numbered paragraphs. If your table of contents includes paragraph styles that uses numbering, specify whether the table of contents entry would include full paragraph, meaning both number and text, or only the numbers or only the paragraphs. Now that we understand the options available when generating an automated table of contents, let's see how this works in InDesign. In this demo, I will walk you through how I set up my TOC file, and we will create something similar to what you see on the screen here. First, I will create a new blank document, the same size as the rest of my book, which was six by nine, and I'm leaving the uh, margins the same. Let's name this file 
I'm going to name it TOC, have two pages. So uh, to count for the blank page before the first chapter starts, hit create. Before I do anything, I'm going to load the paragraph styles from chapter one. If you remember from lesson 14, I used this document as the style guide for the rest of the chapters. And we will use this to generate our table of contents. I don't need the basic. Let's load them. At this stage, I am ready to save this file. And uh, to create the table of contents that pulls information from the document in our book file, we need to add this newly created file to the book file. So if you haven't yet, open your book panel and add the file. You can open the book panel by going to File, Open, and uh, find that INDB file, what you created during lesson 14. I'm going to use the plus sign here. By the way, if I highlight the very first, I want my table of contents to be below the title page. And I want uh, automatic, so not having to drag it up there manually. All I need to do, highlight the title page. And when I bring this document in, in Design Wheel, place it below that. If I don't have anything selected, then it would be the last document, which is fine. You can always drag it manually to the top. So uh, before generating, I want to make some changes. I don't have page numbering here, but I want for my personal organization to change the numbering. What I see here, I'm going to change uh, document numbering options and start at page one. And let's uh, do maybe Roman lowercase numerals. Again, it will not affect my actual design because I don't have page number added to my table of contents. One more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to pre-flight to make sure that I get the green lights, entire book there. And the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that uh, the page numbering is updated. So go under update numbering, update all numbers. I'm going to pre-flight one more time. Just uh, I'm doing this because uh, I want to make sure that uh, everything is in the correct order. And then the only reason I had to do pre-flight after I updated the numbers that I made changes and uh, InDesign wants to make sure that I haven't made a change that would affect my pre-flighting. So at this stage, I'm ready to generate my table of contents. I'm going to go layout, table of contents, bring up the table of contents panel. Uh, if you don't see options here, make sure that uh, you click on more options. In my case, it was open, but we will use this section to format our table of contents. So uh, it just gives us a greater control when setting our TOC file. So in the first field over here, uh, I'm going to go with default. I don't have a saved. TOC style. So uh, under the title, you have the choice to uh, decide what uh, the name appears on the top. You can include it or delete it. In my case, I'm going to keep it as for now and um, name it contents. For the style, you uh, the next option here is to style the title. I am going to choose TOC title. This is an auto-generated style. It will not look the way I want my final design. But once I set the rest of the styles, I will update the settings to match my book design. All right, so the next decision in this section is what InDesign will decide how InDesign decides what will be included in the table of content. It is essential that we apply the right styles to the correct components of the table of contents. What we include in the, uh, in my case, it will depend on your individual case, but in my case, I want to include the chapter number add, and I also want to include the chapter title and add it. 
So chapter one will be level one and chapter title will be level two by default. And again, this is just the appearance here. It will not affect our table of contents look. So moving down on the panel, the next decision, I'm going to highlight the chapter num uh, number. The next decision we need to make, uh, how we style this. So I'm going to, for on the chapter number, I'm going to create a new paragraph style and I'm going to name it TOC head. I'm not spending time styling this just yet. At this stage is more about the structure than the looks of the table of content. So to have a starting point, I'm going to base it on chapter title. And this will give me a start point. Uh, hit OK. In the page numbering options, I will select no page number for this particular entry. So let's change editing for the chapter title. Uh, I will use TOC body text. This again is a default style that we will edit later to match our layout design. So I will choose the, to have after the entry, entry for the numbering and uh, between the entry and the number. Uh, this is a tab, you can change it if you want something else. Later we'll return this section and add some character styles to make changes to uh, how the chapter, I mean the page number and the uh, space between the number and the entry looks. So before I hit OK, I need to ensure that I check the box next to include book documents. Uh, otherwise, InDesign will not be able to generate the table of contents for the entire document, for the entire book. So when I hit OK, I get the um, loaded text cursor and I can click on the page. InDesign brings in the table of contents from the documents in my book file, everything. It doesn't look the way I want it, but now we can adjust the styles to meet our design needs. Also, if you edit the wrong paragraph styles when creating your TOC and InDesign doesn't pull the information into the contents you want, you can always go back and open the table of contents panel to update your settings. Every time you make a change, InDesign will give you a pop-up information window to state that the TOC has been successfully updated. So now that I have generated my table of contents, I'm ready to make style changes um, so it will look the way I want it. Let's start with the TOC title. I right clicked on it so I can bring up the editing option. I'm gonna have this as comment to bold. Make sure that the preview is open so you can see what's happening. Set it to 18 points. That's way too large what I see. And also it's too dark. So I'm gonna change the character color to 50% tint, much better, hit OK. Moving down to the TOC head, remember this was the style I created on the fly. Again, right click to bring, bring up the uh, paragraph style options and we st started with the chapter title. So I have some base point. So I'm gonna do stay the extra board. The size is too big. I'm gonna go down to 12 points. Under the indents and spacing, I want this to be indented uh, maybe half an inch. I actually want the space after much less, maybe uh, an eighth of an inch, and then uh, open this up. So I'm changing the look. And um, I'm going to add a rule above this. I kind of like that look. So I'm going to go to paragraph rules, turn the rule on. Uh, this is way too heavy. I'm going to do half a point. And instead of uh, for the width, instead of the column, I just want the text I'm going to offset it and put it above my text. And um, I think I need to 
change the character color is too dark, so let's do 80%. Started to look much better. Hit OK. Let's edit our body text at the TOC body text. Right click again, open up the paragraph style options. For this, uh, I am going to uh, leave it at 12 point, but instead of regular, I'm going to make it. Uh, oh, I'm going to base it actually on, um, so I have a starting point. I'm going to base it body, no indent. So it set it to Baskerville and uh, I'm going to leave it 12 points, but I want italic. I kind of like that look and um, make some indent and spacing change here. So since I indented the chapter number, I'm going to indent this even more, maybe by an inch, and let's see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, now, uh, the only thing I'm going to edit here is, remember uh, when we set up our table of contents, we told InDesign to have a tab between this. I don't need, like, how this randomly looks. So I'm going to edit my tabs. I'm going to use a right justify tab and probably put it at four inches or so. I overwrite it so it is exactly four inches. And uh, for the leader, I want a dot in between. I'm going to hit tabs to see what it looks. All right, not too bad. I'm going to hit OK. So the only thing left for me is I want to create some character styles to uh, make the looks different for the numbers. So I'm going to create two. One I will name um, TOC numbers. And I want this to be Baskerville, just like the other one. Let's do bold, 12 points. So it's the same size as our text, but it's not going to be italic. And I actually, let's do red, because we have red in our other design. I think that looks good. So the other thing I'm going to make, uh, I don't like how big these dots are, so I'm going to create another paragraph style, and I'm going to name it TOC lead. And uh, let's do also Baskerville. It's a good start. And instead of bold, I'm going to do regular. I'm going to make it much smaller, so maybe eight points. And I want the dots to be further apart, so I'm going to change the tracking to 200. And I also want this to be uh, much lighter, so I'm going to do black and maybe 80%. We can change this after. So I'm going to hit OK. So we don't see changes, but we need to apply these character styles inside the table of contents panel. So go layout, table of contents, and then we can choose these options here. So under page number, I'm going to choose TOC numbers. And under the entry between the number and the entry, let's do the TOC lead. Hit OK. InDesign is regenerating my table of contents. And I, I like the looks. OK, so I'm happy with this. So let's just talk about what happens if we need to add pages or make changes, let's say, to the titles. So when creating a book, I recommend generating the table of contents as the last step in your workflow. But we can uh, always make changes. So, But when you make changes, uh, you will need to regenerate the table of contents, just like I did when I um, changed the character styles for my number and the uh, the lead characters. Uh, to make changes to the entries, you need to edit your book document, not the table of content itself. So for example, if my title name changes instead of overwriting it and changing this, I need to open chapter one and make the change in that document instead of here. So, uh, and then another example would be, what if I need to add an extra uh chapter to my book. So let's try it how that looks like. So uh, I'm going to add another chapter. 
In this case, I'm going to do, I have a chapter seven, hit opened and add it to my book file. So first I'm going to go and uh, update numbering, update all numbers. I just do this in case, and I'm gonna run another pre-fly just in case I like the seeing the green dots to ensure everything is correct. All right, so it doesn't appear here. As I said, we need to regenerate the table of contents, but it is very easy to go back to layout and update table of contents. So instead of opening the table of contents panel, I'm going to hit update table of contents. In design, uh, working in the back, and then it gives me uh, information that it has been successfully updated. And I think this is one of the great things in um, automated function in InDesign. And uh, if you make more changes, it is easy to update your table of contents. So this is how you create an automated table of contents here inside InDesign.